Greetings folks. I have some very interesting new FPV technology from FXT uh, sent to me to check out. So we have a couple of items. We've got this box here which they are calling the FXT Smart Gesture Box T82 plus FX868T bundle which consists of the Venus Pro micro camera which I've reviewed before. I'll put a link to that review in the, in the notes. Plus the FX868T uh, nano sized video transmitter. When they're bundled together and using smart audio technology uh, we can do some pretty amazing things. We also have the FX108 FPV USB cable. This is a USB cable which uh, increases the voltage from 5 volts from the USB source to 9 volts. And if I just read the back here it says this product increases output voltage for battery bank from 5 volts DC to 9 volts DC, 9 volt DC, uh, 1000 milliamp if the battery bank works normally. So you can use this to power anything that requires uh, 9 volts using a USB input source. That's very interesting, so I'll have a look at that a bit later. But first of all, we'll have a look at this uh, Smart Gesture Box bundle. So we have the little Venus Pro camera, which is a, a, a funky little 6943 swappable uh, FPV camera with on-screen display of, of voltage and we also have this little uh, FX868T video transmitter powered by 5 volts and it's also connected by the smart audio uh, to the camera. Now we also get the normal keypad uh, on-screen display set up and we get two antenna choices, they're the little MMCX or whatever they are connectors you just click in like that, a little uh, linear antenna, and you get an SMA adapter as well, so you can put uh, circuit polarized or whatever you want on there. Good choices. All right, so let's have a closer look. Here's the little Venus Pro camera with a M8 lens, 16 9 4 3 aspect ratio changeable. Little pigtail for the uh, keypad for change, setting up the on screen display. Uh, 4.8 volts. To 36 for the camera, ground, video, on-screen display and control. That used to say power in the previous uh, Venus Pro. Uh, that's the smart audio cable I guess, they're calling it control there. Through to the tiny little video transmitter. We have a little uh, selector button here for changing frequency and band. 5 volt power supply. We have these little MMCX or whatever they are. Uh, connector there, little SMA uh, adapter alternative. We'll just use this little linear one for the moment. Just clicks in, very nice and small. Uh, the video transmitter is selectable from 25 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts, 600 milliwatts, or pit mode, which is all very useful for quad racing, I guess. Now this uses smart audio technology, I think. I don't know a lot about that, but the quad guys and flight control. Uh, board users would know, understand that a bit more. That's sort of a beta flight thing where you can change settings on your video transmitter via gestures uh, with your sticks on your transmitter. With, with this combination you can actually change settings on the video transmitter using hand gestures in front of the camera. This is the uh, radical new technology that um, FXT is using. So let's go and have a look at that right now. Okay, I'll plug it in and we'll go through these hand gestures. Oh, I've got 5 volt battery here just to power up everything. It is limited to 5 volts input voltage for the little transmitter. There we go, so if we put the hand in front, pull it away, sunny starts flashing. Cloudy. Indoor. Light tracks. Twilight personal, back to sunny, hold for three seconds and we'll move over to power, 200 milliwatts, pit setting, 25, 200. Okay, hold for three seconds, we'll go to frequency, we've got uh, E1, E2, E3, E4, back to E1 again. 
Now, if we just do nothing, that should accept that. There we go. Sunny, 200 milliwatts, 5658 five, frequency. That's very cool. And of course, you still have the keypad changer. You can just plug that in and uh, change things as you used to do. Or you can use the funky hand gestures. So I'll just go through some of the settings. Uh, you can do FPV setup, which is the time on and off, power on and off, and position. I'll leave them as they are. Exposure. Uh, you can over or under expose if you want to and adjust the backlight feature. Day, night. Choose color or black and white. Image setup. Increase the color gain if you want more saturation. Mirror. Gamma, which is sort of like contrast. Uh, mess with the sharpness. White balance. Gain control. And function setup TV system, that's PAL or NTSC, image scale, you can switch from 4.3 to 16.9, and languages, factory reset, save and exit, yes. And here's the FX100 USB uh, 9 volt charging cable, or power cable, let's have a look at it, let's pull it out there. So here's the cable, standard USB on that end there, and the I think it's a 5.5 millimeter power cable, nine volt output, and I guess that's where the magic happens. Little LED indicator LED there. Very useful little USB cable for powering something at nine volts. So we can check that. I've got a, a USB adapter into a mains power there. Let's plug the cable in. A little blue light there, which tells us it's working. Let's see what voltage we're getting out of it. nine point one volts DC there you go it's working nicely